Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's Weekend Whip, I'm gonna be working on a page from 50 Farmers Miniatures. This is a buddy color with my lovely friend, Megan, from Disney Meg's Coloring. Uh, and we are doing this cute uh, goat page, which I have started with some alcohol markers. Uh, I'm gonna be adding a little bit in the background and working on the background today, I think, and then I'll be using different pencils and stuff to do shading. Um, but yeah, I thought I would work on my background today with you guys. Take a sip of tea here. All right, I um, had run out of my tea, so I didn't have my cinnamon tea for a while, so I was using different different kinds, and it finally came back in. So <laughs> I'm very happy because it's just my favorite. It really is. All right, so I have a very, I'm using uh, Castle Art Gold pencils wanted to see how they did on this Amazon paper because it's more of a waxy uh, pencil, I believe. So I thought that it might work well, you know, since like Prismacolors and stuff work pretty well on here. Um, so I thought I would try that on here. I have a very pastel color palette picked out that I found. So we're gonna, we're gonna attempt to do some cute stuff. So first what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm going to draw in um, some flowers and some leaves. Um, I want to add in a couple of tulips behind here, but I don't need them to be like perfectly, um, I don't need them to be outlined or anything. I just wanted them to be a little, um, just kind of like they look like they're in the background really. And then I'm going to add some taller grasses and things like that too. Uh, and then like a center to the flowers here, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And then I do have a pencil line around here so that I know where my my um, color is gonna stop too. Okay, so let me get to thinking here. This is always the hardest part for me is deciding where I want things. I want this area to be kind of clear so I want some flowers here and some flowers here, but then I want like taller grasses and stuff coming up. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and draw in um, a tulip. So this is, uh, you know, I'm not super skilled at <laughs> drawing flowers or anything. So this is gonna be a pretty basic, pretty basic tulip. I think I will have it kind of hang over the edge of the the border there. Okay, and then about right there. All right. Okay. And then we'll have the little stem down here just so that it looks like it's not just floating in the air. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, and then two more, I think. So we'll do one coming this way. And I don't think this one's going to be open very much at all. So it's just gonna be just like that. Okay, and then mm, yeah, we'll probably do one right here. open a little bit more and have a little there we go okay I think that's good and then I'm just gonna draw in the um, the these leaves with my um, pencils because I don't like I said I don't want this to be super um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Goodness, it is early morning. 
<laughs> for me. Uh, it is Friday early morning because I just found out. Well, let me start by saying, hi, everybody. How are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so it it's Friday morning. I just found out that my son is coming home for spring break next week. And um, he kind of neglected to, <laughs> to tell me that. So I am having to record today so that I have, um, I'm able to get this out to you guys on time. Because otherwise I feel like it would, um, it would not be out until much later than I would like for it to be. So a little bit showing back there. And then this one had okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna need another pink. So just thinking about that. So I got the 72 set of the Castle Art Golds, and they're um I haven't used it a whole lot, but I feel like it's I don't know exactly because I just used this the sheet and then put it in the order that they came in, so I don't have it in color family order. I feel like there's something missing, and I can't put my finger on it. I think maybe it might be. I feel like I should have more yellows, but I don't know. I don't know what exactly it is. Um, it's hard to tell when it's in an order like this. So pencil companies, put your put your uh, colors in some kind of order. Because this is just um, crazy town. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use this Bengal Rose Deep. Oh, you know what? I need a backer page here. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and shade a little bit with this one. Um, so yeah, so I'm dealing with the fact that I have a surprise, uh, week at home from my, my son, which I'm thrilled about. I'm so happy he's coming home. Uh, I miss him like crazy when he's not here. Uh, but it's, you know, just kind of threw everything off. <laughs> um, but it'll be nice. And I know that my, my, my daughters miss miss him quite a bit so I'm sure that will go over well they'll be excited that he's home um yeah I need to slightly erase that too I don't that I want to add some shading in here so There we go. Okay. And then let's see, we're going to add in some pink. So I have three different pinks. This one's a little, um, a little more warm than the other two. The other two are kind of cooler tones, but I still think it's all right. Okay, and then I'm going to use my white to kind of blend everything together. I think that'll work. It's a very simple, <laughs> very simple tulip, but you know, I'm not, I'm not a floral artist. I am a doodler. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's see. Okay, I'm going to start on these ones over here just to get these guys done. Um, let's see what else is going on. I um, released my deer video finally. Um, so you can find that on the channel now. I apologize for it taking so long. I, I don't really know <laughs> what happened. Um, 
just took took a while this time. Um, and I only did two, two pages and they were not big hard pages or anything. It just, uh, it was kind of odd why it took me so long. I still don't know exactly why. Um, but uh, I got that done and um, I liked the, the little pages that I did. I did one in Fedorables 2, which is a really cute one from um, Selena Fennick. And they're like super simple, sweet images um, that are easy, easy to finish. So I did one in there with a deer. And then I also did, um, I'm going to have to make these this outline a little darker. I also did one in Botanicum. Um, so, and that's like with a whole deer family. So, um, I, I do like the way that those turned out though. I think that it was a cute, they were cute pages. So that is out there now. And my next ABC animal is going to be elephants, which I know I have a lot of elephants, um, that I can color. So again, it's just going to be a, a matter of me finally <laughs> sitting down and being like, yes, I'm going to color this elephant. Um, yeah, so I'll just have to kind of make a final decision and pick, pick a couple to do. Okay. Well, I'm liking these little guys so far. This is cute. Um, so we're, Megan and I have picked this, well, Megan suggested that we do a goat page, um, from this book because she has a color along, um, her color along this month is, so it's every month she has a, a letter that she chooses. And so this month's letter is G and, um, so the goat worked perfectly. Um, there are a couple of different goat pictures in this one, but I really liked this little flower one, this little one of the goat jumping over the flower. I just think it's cute. All right, um, let's see, erase some of that. Okay, and then we're just gonna say that that's back there. Right. Let's see. How do we feel about that? Do we like them? They're kind of cute, right? I don't know if you guys can see them. There you go. Just kind of simple little, little extra little flowers. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do in the center of these guys. If I want to just do a circle or if I want to do like, because I know in some of her other flowers like this, she's got, um, like these, like this kind of thing in the center. But I'm thinking maybe I won't put anything in the center and just do like, like have a center point, but then have all of these little pieces come outward from that in the color that I decide to do it in. I think that might work. Um, I probably am gonna do these in yellow because they do kind of look like dandelions to me. Um, but that's, kind of just what I'm seeing. Okay, so we need some tall grassy pieces. Uh, I'm hesitant to do it with just straight pen colored pencil because I don't want to put one somewhere where I'm not going to like it. Um, but I know that like right here I want a piece of grass kind of coming out that way. Um, Probably need one just to, there we go. These are kind of like the leaves for the tulips too. So, um, let's do one coming this way. They're not gonna be super, um, super tall and there's not going to be too many of them I don't think oh, that's too thick 
I just wanted to do something else kind of fun back there. Um, yeah, we'll get some more going. And then I know for sure when, uh, once I'll have some of these thicker ones drawn in, but then I'm sure that I'll go back in with my pencils and add in um, more as well as I'm coloring in the background and stuff. All right, so this one's actually just gonna come straight off of the, the stem. And then we'll do one coming off this way too. But it doesn't really, it's not really gonna show anywhere. Okay, so let me do those really quick. I'm just lightening it up with my um, What is this called? Needed eraser. I told you guys it was early. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go in with this color first and we're gonna outline the whole leaf. Let's see. Yeah, see I didn't quite erase it well enough. Some of that pencil is going to show through, but once I get the whole page colored in, you're not going to be able to see it. This one was coming up here. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Uh, I do have an idea for the color along this month which I'm excited about now. I um, had put out there last week, I had asked you guys what you thought about, um, you know, which book that you would like to see a color along in. And there was a lot of votes for Voyage from Mythographics. So that is my, that is my plan. Um, I'm excited to do that too. I think it's going to be a fun color along. And I think, remember, I don't know if you guys, if you had seen my um, uh, coloring plans video, you might have seen that I had picked out a couple of pages from Mythographic that I really wanted to color. So trying to decide between the two of those might be, <laughs> might be a little tricky, um, but... I'll see about, see about getting that choice made here soon. Okay. All right, I'm liking these. These are, these are looking cute. Uh, this pencil, the pencils are working well on the paper. Um, I will probably end up having to blend things out here and there, but I don't mind doing that. Uh, I did, so I probably should be wearing my little my little brace right now because I did use um, in my weekly planner, I used some Giotto pencils, which are a pretty budget brand pencil. Um, I don't even remember why I got them to begin with, um, but they're in my collection and I'm trying to use all of my pencils, um, while I'm working in that planner. Oops, that's not the right color. While I'm working in my Johanna planner. So I did use them, um, for a page and I thought my hand was going to fall off. It was... <laughs> It was real bad and I was like, I don't remember. I mean, it was, I've, I've had it happen before where I'm just stupid and I don't take breaks, but even with some breaks worked in, these pencils were, they were rough. They were hard. Um, I did not want to go on the paper. I had, I don't know, I lost count of the number of layers that I ended up putting on. Um, all 
right. Okay. All right, and then my thought is I'm going to do a little bit of a fun um, purple tone background. Might have a little bit of pink in there too. Um, yeah, and then I might do, I'm not sure what else I'll do for the um, butterflies. Those guys, I don't want them all to be pink, I don't think, but maybe they'll be pink and yellow. We'll see. So, my thoughts. I'm going to start, I think I'm just going to do like a little um, bokeh kind of thing, but I'll have those circles kind of be around the butterflies. I'm just trying to talk it out in my head right now to see, or try, say it out loud instead of just thinking in my head so you guys can hear my thought process. Yeah, I think that's going to be what I do. Um, so, uh, where did I, I used to have, I don't know where it's at now. I used to have some Gamsol and blender things down here. Cause I think I'll probably end up needing those for, for the background. Where did that go? Well, that's a little frustrating. I know I have Gamsol someplace else, but it's like a little, huh. All right, well, let's just get started on the background. All right, let me think. So I want, I'm gonna have um, like a circle here. So this is how I start all of my bokeh um, backgrounds. I just draw in some circles where I know that I want um, them to be. And then I try to soften up. So I use really light pressure. You wanna make sure things look like they're blended into the background too. Uh, and then we'll do another smaller one here. And you want to try to make sure they're as circular as you can make them. A lot of people will use um, stencils, um, which I think is always a great idea. Uh, but I've gotten pretty decent at coloring circles. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to draw in some circles around where I want. And you can like double up on the circles so I can have a bigger one and then like a smaller one that overlaps. That's sometimes a fun element. And most of the time as I'm doing these, I'm thinking, oh, I've just ruined, <laughs> I've just ruined my page. Uh, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it. All right, so I'm just gonna start blending outward from these circles that I've, I've drawn in. Um, so what else? Oh, uh, today is my anniversary. My husband and I have been married for 22 years, um, which I know is not long to some and to others feels like forever. Um, and it varies for me from day to day. <laughs> Sometimes it just feels like it's it's been no time at all. And other times I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, we, we had plans to go to... Um, so he for Christmas he bought me this, the tickets to see... Um, the Princess Bride, and then there's a t there was a talk afterwards with the the star um, Carrie Carrie Elwes, I think that's how you say his last name. I don't know Carrie Els, I don't know. Um, who I adore, I think he's awesome. I should probably know how to pronounce his name if I like him so much. Um, but uh, it got rescheduled at to from because it had originally been in February, and then it got rescheduled to. Um, March 11th and I was like oh that's perfect we'll just go out on our for our anniversary on that night and 
just have a grand old time. And it's like a perfect, because it's one of our favorite movies. We quote it to each other all the time. Um, and it would have been great. And then they had to reschedule again. And this time it's rescheduled in June. And I'm like, ugh, darn it. So my first thought is, you know, yeah, I'm bummed. But I'm also hopefully, I'm hoping that, <laughs> that Carrie Ellis is okay. Like, I know it can't be easy to have these, these talks scheduled. Um, but yeah, I've just, I just keep thinking, oh my gosh, I hope he's all right. Um, so yeah, so I think we're going to try to go out to dinner tonight instead. I did suggest a restaurant that I would like to go to and it is a more expensive restaurant. So we'll see how that, <laughs> how that suggestion plays out. Um, but yeah. And even if we don't go out tonight, we're not, like I said, we're not, you know, we're not going out people. We don't need big celebrations for things. Um, yeah. All right. Okay, so normally it looks a little like this, which is just kind of crazy and circles just wherever. Wherever on the page. Um, And then I think I'm going to try to do some darker colors mixed in, but I'm just going to keep with purples, I believe. <sighs> Sorry, my hands are cold. <laughs> blowing, on my, blowing on my hand there. Um, yeah, all right. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch to the next darkest color. And I'm going to... Let's see what I want to do. I'm trying to decide if I want, like, around the... Um, the goat to just kind of be not colored. Have like the darker colors around the outside. Hmm. I think I'm gonna start that actually. So I'm gonna color along this border. Then you can kind of see, so I, I've got that darker color in there and then you just kind of blend it into the lighter color. And it looks pretty, pretty good, like it's supposed to be there. Um, hopefully I can find my, yeah, this is not turning, this is not light anymore. So I don't know, hmm. So it's supposed to be pastel <laughs> and now it's turning into a little bit darker purple so maybe I'm not gonna do like huge swaths of the dark purple I'll just kind of shade out from the the line a little bit yeah because I don't want it to be super dark Although these two colors don't seem that much different to me. All right, and then we'll blend with the light. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need the, the Gamsol or something to blend this out. Which I, I ended up using, I think on, hmm, where is it? This one. I feel like I use Gamsol in the background here too. And it's kind of the same thing, you know, it's got the few little spots here and there. Um, yeah, okay. It's all good. We'll figure it out. Yeah, 
I think I'm just going to keep the darker color on the edges. Okay, so let's see. What else? I did finish another page that I was really um, happy with. This is a little bit darker color. Um, it was a page by Yana Prosferina, and I just, I was just really pleased with the way that it ended up turning out. I, um, I found a picture on Instagram, nope, Pinterest, uh, and it was just this, I just typed in, uh, darker skin with red hair, and this beautiful, uh, image came back. And so I just took the colors straight from that, tried to copy her hair color and her skin tone, and just love the way it turned out. It was so, um, such a different palette for me, and um, yeah, I just really liked it. Really liked the way that it turned out. Okay, I'm going to lighten up around here because I know that I want to draw some more grass in. So I'm just going to just going to add a little bit of color and then I'll be able to come back in and color in between the, the grass. But this down here, so typically when I go towards a horizon line, I lighten up um uh I lighten up any any colors that I have and they I start to have them be a little bit more um Uh, what am I trying to say? A little more warm tones. So even when I'm, or or it like fades to white before it gets to the horizon. Um, it just seems to represent like what you would actually see more to me. I don't know. I feel like as I look at horizons, it, it gets lighter as it, as it moves towards the horizon, lighter or warmer. I could be just crazy, but that's kind of what I see anyway. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to wear this, this poor pencil down. <laughs> Uh, the other thing I can do is actually I could probably add in a few um, circles with the purple. So just do a little darker circle. I did this on my background the other day too. Uh, and I really liked the way that it worked, the way that it ended up looking. I mixed in like pinks and yellows and peach and orange and lots of different colors and it looked really pretty but I feel like I could probably get a similar look with these purples I thought about just doing just a straight um, straight light purple background with the pencils but or the markers but decided I wanted to try to do some pencil work in here this isn't always my favorite paper to color on but um, sometimes it's it's fun to try okay I think that I'm going to try to find an even lighter purple than what I have okay so I have the Arteza uh, pastel colored pencils, which I have never used. Um, I probably should sharpen that. Um, so I have a, a light, really light purple, um, but it's like pinkish purple. But I feel like it would probably be a good, 
um, color to blend in here too. And then yeah, like I said, I'll come through with my, um, my Gamsol whenever I find out where it is and blend all that together. I think I'm gonna leave just a little, it's gonna be really light around the goat. Um, just very lightly blending colors out now. Okay, I think that'll be a cute little background. It's gonna be very spring-like, very, very fun. All right, so you kind of get the idea of how to how to do that. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can find my Gamsol and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I did find my Gamsol. I found this bottle that I have. I don't have the one that has like a, it's got a little like sponge dauber on the end so that I can just touch my blending stump to it. So I do have this little tiny plastic <laughs> dish. There is a little bit of Gamsol on the bottom of this and I'm just gonna roll my um, stump in there so that it picks up some of that Gamsol. And then basically, I just kind of rub it into the paper and it blends it around. And I'll show you close up here in a second what it looks like. It's not my favorite noise in the world. Um, so I'm sorry for the people who do have issues with um, noises like that, but so here is the blended area and then here is the not blended. So it's really, it's a really good tool. The other thing I've done is I've taken one of my um, water brushes and I put some Gamsol in here and I do have it marked so that I know which one is which, um, but this tends to work pretty well too. Um, I usually use this for uh, portraits and stuff. Um, if I need to blend pencils on skin. Um, however, um, this is not as, you can't put as much pressure down um, as, you, as you can with the blending stump. And you have less control over the amount of Gamsol that comes out of your brush. So, if you are doing something on like a double page and you have too much Gamsol that like runs out of your brush, you're, you're, you might ruin the other side. Um, do like a solid line across so you guys can see where that blending ended. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference between there and there, but yeah, that's what the, the brush is. I think I am gonna use the, um, the stump though, just to make sure that I get a nice, a nice blend. And the nice thing about Gamsol is once you have it blended, you can go back over um, with your pencils again. You can layer and layer and layer to your heart's content. Um, this does not um, prevent layers, which I really like. As long as you don't like tear up your paper by pushing too hard with the blending stump, you should be fine to, to build up your layers. Um, one of the artists that I like to watch sometimes, and of course I can't remember what her name is. Um, she's got a beautiful art channel. If I can remember, I'll, I will put it um, on screen for you guys to check out. But she does a lot of pencil um, work and she uses um, like Gamsol and blending stumps like this. She usually uses, um, I think, paint brushes to add her, her Gamsol, which I probably could have done too. But I'm just, I feel more confident with these blending stumps. Um, but I like the fact, I like the way these blended. It worked well with the Castle Art uh, pencils. 
yeah, so you can see how nice that looks now. It's all blended together. There's not too much of the tooth of the paper showing through. That's really what the Gamsol does. It breaks down the, the pencil and uh, moves it around so it can fill in all of the tooth of the paper. So yeah, so that's basically what my background's gonna look like. It'll be darker on the edges and then lighter as you move toward the center, so darker up here too, probably. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be cute. All right, so now we're gonna add in some other grasses, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this with lighter, this lighter green. Um, let's see. I don't love these big clumpy grasses through here. So I think what I might do is just kind of make these like their individual strands. Uh, and then maybe white out the the big clumpy bits. Let me see if I could just go ahead and do that now. So we'll just cover up the thick black lines. I think I've done this before with decent success. Um have to look and see but I'm pretty sure you know and in, in these books these are supposed to be simple easy books so if you don't want to do all of these different things that I'm doing you don't have to you can just color it and it's totally fine I've done that before um, but yeah so like on this one is just this is just marker base with a little bit of color pencil. That's, you know, there's no fancy background, no nothing. But on this one, yeah, see I went through and I whited out some of the grass right here and you can hardly see that there was grass there. So let's, let's see, see if that works. Um, hmm. So I had said those were gonna be yellow, right? So let me grab, I'm gonna grab a few yellows. I'm gonna have the base of it be this color. So we're gonna start from here. Then I'm gonna come in with different colors, I think, and just try to blend things around a little bit. And then I can use my yellow, um, Posca pen on the flower, um, on the outsides of the flowers. Hmm. Not sure I love it. I don't think I hate it either, so that's okay. Let me get some green on the stems here. All right. Are my paint pens over here right now? I've moved everything <laughs> off of my desk and like around and I can't find anything now. It's so frustrating. I do have my Artistro pens here. I do have a yellow. Maybe this will work. Let's try it out and see how it goes. <laughs> and then I know I have some yellow stickles that I could probably use too. Um... to kind of bring some sparkle to the page maybe. Okay, let's see. Sometimes these Artistro ones give me some problems. Yeah, see, I don't think that's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be dark enough. There we go have to shake them enough and prime it until you get what you're looking for. The other thing I could have done is just um, used my white Posca and then used pencil over top of it, which I've done that before. And that would work probably for this one as well. Like I could use this yellow and then just go over top with more yellow so that I get a nice um, 
solid coverage because this is not working well. I've really liked the Artistra pens um, and I even ordered a whole bunch of more white ones so that I could um, use them more often just in case, you know, I run out of Poscos or whatever. And I don't know, it's not, the color ones that I have are just not as good as I think they should be. Um, and the, I have some Tuler, tu mm. <laughs> let's try that again. I have some Thule Art paint pens, but they um, are either portrait or landscape. And I don't think I have any yellow. Yeah, once I shake it, it it's good to go for a little while, but then I'm going to have to shake it again. As you can see how thick it came out right there. That's annoying to have to recap it and shake it every few seconds. But it pretty much worked for what I wanted. There's just a yellow flower. All right. I'm going to draw in some Okay, there's my flowers. That's what my flowers are going to look like, I think. I just feel like it needs more. I want it to be super yellow. Gosh, that's annoying. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> throw my throw my pencil. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use uh, we're going to start, actually, I'm going to start with this light, uh, this mint green. So I'm just going to flick my um, pencil in the direction that these big clumps of grass are going. We're going to see if we can create something cool here. All right, so I, went, I had a light, what is that? That was mint green. This is mint green light, which is just a little bit darker. That just doesn't make any sense why it would be called light if it's darker than the mint green. But hey, I didn't get paid to name these pencils. Uh, and then I have phthalo green. This one's pretty dark, so I'm going to use it kind of sparingly. And then I'm going to use the leaf green light to just kind of flick. All right, and so the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to just extend some of the grasses past that white line that I had. Try to use that mid-tone. I'm going to use the darker color, get some shading in here. I think that'll be okay. That's kind of what it'll look like. I don't know if you can see that. So there's my flower. I wish the whole paint pen would have been like this, you know, but you can still see so much of the black through there. I'm going to try something really quick and see if this helps. So sometimes I can use my white, um, what is this? Pencil, Prismacolor pencil. Holy moly. Um, and if I outline the, the black lines, 
first. And then like it works well this way with my Posca. Um, but when I use my Posca over top of the pencil, it tends to glide better, uh, probably because these Prismacolors are so waxy. But I feel like that'll be, that might be something that we can try out here. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try this Artistro pen again. I'm not gonna give up on it. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna keep trying. So here we go. I mean, it already seems to be better, but that might be because the white, um, the white pencil lightens the line so much. That might be another reason why it looks better. I don't know for sure. Okay, let me let that dry a second and see if I can go back over. All right, I'm gonna go find my pasta. This is making me angry. <laughs> All right, I have my, my pasta. Just so you can see the difference in the coverage. Like, <laughs> those Artista ones, I'm sure they're great. And I've used the white, um, multiple times. I've used some of the other colors multiple times and some of them are really good. Maybe it's just that particular marker. I don't know. But now I can go back over all of this and make it actually yellow. This is why I use Poscas for the most part. Because I cannot find another paint pen that I like as much, that gives me as much coverage. But I know plenty of other colorists who use the Artistro, the Tuliart, all kinds of stuff, but I love these Poscas. All right, so look at the difference between the two here. I don't know if you can see it, but to me, this is look you can see so much more of the black lines through this side. Um, and then there's the, <clears throat> the yellow flower. Okay. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do for this stem actually I'm gonna white out the stem. We're gonna let that dry a minute. I'm gonna keep going with this. Nope, not this one. Get out of here <laughs> with my Posca. Uh, just cover up. Cover up these black lines. Um, if you guys have, you know, any suggestions for other paint pens, or if I was doing something wrong with. The with the uh, Artistro, which I possibly could, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I know basically what I'm doing with the Poscas, but just because it's a paint pen doesn't mean they all work exactly the same either. So, um, yeah, if I was doing something wrong with those Artistro, or you have another paint pen set that you really love that you think are better than Posca, let me know. I mean, because Poscas aren't cheap. So it would be nice to save a little bit of money, but. I don't know if I told you guys uh, this either, but since it's Lent, I am on a no buy right now. So, um, and I didn't even have like a crazy panic <laughs> um, spending spree right before it started either. I was pretty proud of myself about that. Um, all right, I think that's probably dry enough. We're gonna take, I'm gonna take this dark green here. Try not to put my hand in the Posca. And I'm gonna just go right over the lines. Okay, I'm gonna make this darker right underneath the
Okay. Well, I think that looks, that little corner is gonna look, I mean, it looks nice. That whole side of the page. So I know kind of the direction I'm going, so that's good. Um, I had so many cute little <laughs> goats that I found that I pinned that I wanted to uh, color, and I was just like, nah, he's just gonna be cute gray and white. I might, I might draw in like some black um, spots or something on him, but it's such a cute goat. Um, yeah, and this is very, very springy page, so I'm excited, excited to get this guy done. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I know this is a um, I don't know, was, we're, I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was a weekend whip with Erica. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for being here. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.